Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Sunday, September 22nd. Every day, roughly 22 veterans in the United States die by suicide. The organization Ride for 22 spreads awareness by hosting motorcycle rides in the community, and now the group is expanding their mission through fitness. About 40 people took on the Ruck for 22 challenge through Boise on Sunday. It pushes people to their limits both physically and mentally. Participants either ran or walked 22 miles with a 22 pound pack to raise awareness about veteran suicide rates in the U.S. with the hopes of bringing the community together. I want veterans to know that uh, the, the military family doesn't end when you get out of the service. It goes on and, and we're all here for each other uh, every day. If you want to learn more about that nonprofit or to make a donation, we have their information in this story on our website, sixonyourside.com. The Boise State football team is heading into its bye week with momentum from their 4-0 start to the season. And now the team ranks 16th in the AP poll in the driver's seat for non-Power 5 programs after UCF lost its 27 non-bowl game winning streak on Saturday to Pittsburgh. The Broncos will take this week off before hitting the road to take on UNLV Saturday, October 5th. The brand new 42,000 square foot Idaho Humane Society facility is almost ready. The $15 million project on Overland just east of Maple Grove in Boise is just awaiting final approval. The new center will act as an adoption center and a vet care facility, which is in high demand, especially to help low income pet owners who might not otherwise get the care for their pets that they need. The new building aims to offer a comfortable and attractive location to adopt out more dogs and cats than ever before. If you want to take that virtual tour through the new facility, just check out this story on sixonyourside.com. We are less than two weeks away from this year's Treasure Valley Walk to End Alzheimer's, and although you may picture senior citizens as the only ones affected by the disease, in Monday night's Finding Hope, you'll see that's just not true. Claire is only 48 years old. She lives in Boise and just moved into an assisted living facility. She used to travel the country for a living, but in the last nine months, she's had to quit her job, sell her house, and give up her license. After accepting parts of her brain just don't function normally, her life has dramatically changed. Going to a restaurant, for example, has became really difficult because I couldn't focus on more than one conversation, I mean, more than one voice. So having the noise around, having the busyness around, I just felt like I was being spun. On Monday night, I'll explain why Claire made the decision to move into assisted housing at such a young age and what Claire says is the most important thing for caretakers to keep in mind while looking after someone with dementia. That's right here Monday night at 10. And we'd love for you to join us as we walk to end Alzheimer's on Saturday, October 5th. Registration starts at 10 a.m. at Kleiner Park in Meridian. There will be a ceremony at 11 and then the walk will start at 1130. You can join the Six on Your Side team or make a donation online. And all of that information is on SixOnYourSide.com. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side forecast. Well, autumn begins on Monday and our temperatures will cool. They'll cool a bit early in the week and then a major cool down coming our way toward the end of the weekend. Next weekend, our afternoon high temperatures will be 20 to 30 degrees cooler than they were on the last day of summer on Sunday. Some cloud cover coming onto the coast. Actually, uh, the cloud cover moving into Idaho on Sunday afternoon. Some thunderstorms over eastern Oregon. We could see a shower overnight Sunday into Monday morning. Morning. It's just a slight chance, but the possibility is there. The big change in our weather comes toward the end of the week. Monday a little bit cooler than Sunday, and then a brief warm up for Tuesday and Wednesday before the big cool down that's coming our way next weekend. So Monday's afternoon high 73, some clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, plenty of sunshine. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side forecast. Well, Sunday was the last full day of summer. Autumn begins on Monday, and we're going to see a big change as we go through the entire first week 
of autumn. Monday, some cloud cover in the morning, a little bit cooler behind a weak front that's coming through. We could see an overnight shower Sunday night into Monday morning, uh, but really the only news with this weak front coming through is cooler temperatures on Monday, then a warm up for Tuesday and Wednesday before the major cool down comes behind the next front that's headed in our direction. So Monday's afternoon, high 73 degrees. We keep the 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday, but late in the day on Wednesday, a front comes through that really changes our weather. Thursday, a chance of precipitation with a high of 67. The cool air comes plunging in, really changing things dramatically. By next weekend, a chance of showers. We could see snow as low as 4,000 feet here in the valley. Our afternoon high is only in the mid 50s. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.